I've been doing quite a few experiments with the Whisper Light from Soda Beams. Using this magnetic loop indoors, I've got spots from all around Australia, New Zealand, and occasionally into the United States. This is with 200 milliwatts on 14 megahertz. This time, I'll be trying Whisper Pedestrian Mobile. I'll carry this loop in a big circuit, from home down to the beach, along parallel to the water, and then back home again. When I get back home, I'll analyze the results to see if there's much difference between this indoors, when I'm out walking through a residential neighborhood, and thirdly, when I'm down here at the beach. The sort of things you might expect are more stations hearing me when I'm by the water's edge, or better signal reports from those which can still hear me when I'm further inland. Just for this test, I've increased the repeat rate from 20 to 33%. That will provide more spots and therefore results to average by different location. Six fifteen PM or seven fifteen UTC, just leaving home. I'm walking through a low-rise suburban area comprising mainly separate houses and single-storey units with the odd double-storey townhouse. The alignment of the antenna is roughly north-south, which I'll keep on this alignment as much as possible so that the nulls of the magnetic loop do not unduly affect results. Now half past six and still in suburbia, but you might just be able to see the water at the end of the street. We're only about 100 metres or so away from it. 6.40 and I'll stand on the pier for a few minutes over the water. Back home and here's the results. I split it up between before I left home, when I was walking to the beach, when I was on the beach, then when I just about finished, when I was near the beach, and then when I was back home. Next, I sorted the data by station in increasing distance from me. Then I sorted it by what I'd expect would be weakest and what I'd expect to be strongest. VK3GDC and DXC are only about 5 kilometers from here. For VK3GDC, the signal was fairly consistent at around minus 22, 23. At home, walking to the beach was pretty similar. Near the beach, it had improved to minus 18. And then on the beach, anywhere between minus 11 and minus 14. So overall, that's an improvement of about 8 dB or so between beach and home. Allen VK3 DXC also had an improvement, but not quite as much, from minus 12 to minus 13 to minus 5 to minus 8. VK1 KF was a consistent minus 16 to minus 17 at home, and on the beach, minus 19 to minus 10, so no clear improvement there. Then there are three stations that only heard me once. VK5MR could hear me on the beach, VK2EVB at home, and VK6XT while walking to the beach. I wouldn't read too much into those results. It could just be that the station was not always receiving when I was transmitting. More interesting are two other VK6s, VK6PK, who could hear me at home when I got back at minus 24, walking to the beach, minus 11 to minus 18, near the beach, minus 23, but on the beach, except for this minus 24, much, much stronger, minus 4, minus 6, minus 7. So that is a difference of... 10 to 20 dB. Definitely a big change. And VK6FMTG could not hear me at all 
at any time except when I was on the beach and it was anywhere between minus 21 and minus 25. What I should mention is that the beach improves my outlook greatly to VK6 so not surprising that VK6 has got the most benefit. Another thing I looked at was the Soda Beams D Explorer website. The station most comparable to me, also running 200 milliwatts, is VK7VF. From this test, it would seem that the beach is giving me an edge. This has been an interesting experiment. Results were definitely better by the beach compared to inland. There's all sorts of variations. For instance, given the good results I had with this big loop, you could use a much smaller antenna. Maybe a loop like this, or even something round on a ferrite rod or lunch box. The results will be much less, but you may still get some spots, especially if you're in a favourable location. If you want to make the most of low power amateur radio, you need my ebook, Minimum QRP. It's available for under $5 US via Amazon. Or if you're more into antennas, check out hand carried QRP antennas again via Amazon and again under $5. You can find out more about both those titles by searching them in Amazon or going to my website vk3ye.com.